Hey there, my name is Wahid. I'm a Dutch photographer and filmmaker. And in this little video, I'll be showing you a little bit of the behind the scenes of this photo shoot. I'll be taking a self portrait. This will be our setting. It's a little bit inspired on Outlander. Recently, I've been watching that show. So it's a bit like 18th century. And yeah, I'm just pretty excited about all these items coming together. I bought this one recently online through the internet, two for 10 euros. They are oil lamps, so they still work fine, which is uh, a nice deal, I think. This has been gifted by a friend. I bought the table online as a desk, uh, yeah, just used online. And some other little knickknacks. Someone I know painted this backdrop for me. I'm just using a little bit of gaffer tape to, uh, well, to tighten it up a little bit because it started to curl a bit. And yeah, I thought I'd show you a little bit about the lighting situation, what I'm using and how I'm using it. So, if you think logically or what would be realistic is if this candle would be the only light source lighting me. But you can imagine that it wouldn't be too flattering, it would, it would look more like a horror story, I guess. And it's like shining from below, so that's not super nice. So instead I'm using a big 120 centimeter softbox. Uh, it's not super realistic, but that's not really the point. Also like in movies and TV shows, often you see candles, but the characters are, are still perfectly lit or just very well lit. If it was just the candles, well, the film or the, fi or the TV show would look very different. So yeah, we have a big light source lighting me, a Godox 8400 with a orange gel in front of it to mimic the candle light. And over here we have some extra fill because the backdrop would get very dark. Well, especially in this corner, it would get very dark if uh, I wouldn't use it. It's on its lowest setting possible. So it's just a little bit of fill to like not have it pitch black. And over here we have a uh, Godox 8200 with a blue gel in front of it. I experimented like with the blue gel and without. I like it more with the blue gel. It adds a bit of contrast. And you could imagine that there would be like a window over there and it's like evening and there's like blue light shining in. The most realistic thing would be to use only this big softbox without a blue light because this light is actually a little bit motivated because of the candle light. And you don't really see any windows so you couldn't really tell where the blue light is coming from. But anyway, it adds up to a nice picture so that's why I'm using it. So over here I have two flags because the light is also hitting the table. And that is a bit off-putting because this light source wouldn't light up this whole table. And also, because the table gets darker, the attention will be drawn more to the person sitting here, which will be me. Alright, let's get to it. We do need to close the blinds on the windows, otherwise the candle won't be really well visible and it would be just too bright in here. Well, I've arranged the composition on the table like this, like before. It's uh, not like I did all of this instantly. There was some trial and error, like putting things just right, making it to my liking. And uh, now it's time to shoot. I'm using an iPad over here to control my camera through Wi-Fi, which is very convenient. It's on a timer. Uh, okay. So at the moment of shooting, I thought that the shadows on the right side of my face were a bit too dark and I thought I didn't like it. But now in hindsight, I do think that this, that this actually looks pretty good. It's sort of more realistic, it looks more painterly. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll someday come back to this shoot and do it with an actual model. Then I also have more flexibility and creativity. I can like move the camera around, but uh, yeah. It was also like a learning thing for me, experimenting with lights. I'm adding just a little bit of bounce over here. It's a uh, V-flat that I made myself. Yeah, let's see how that turns out. So 
So as you can see, sometimes my clothes don't correspond with what you're seeing in the video. That's because it's not entirely chronological. But uh, yeah, the setup and everything remains the same. Yeah, that was uh, quite fun. Excited to go edit the photos. Bye-bye.